On the day of the accident, I was at work and about nine in the morning we get phone calls. They were just telling us that, you know, Isaiah was in a very bad car accident and he was just laying motionless. He wasn't crying, he wasn't doing anything at all. And, you know, just immediately I just thought the worst and thought I lost my son. When we get to the hospital, we just find out that he was traumatically injured and in an induced coma for almost a month. Well, Isaiah was in the hospital for about seven months and uh, when he came home, he was just so stressed out and his stress levels were just off the charts. and. There was just so much that was just wrong with him. And the first week when we came home, uh, Dr. Steve immediately came over. And within the first night of working with him, we were able to reduce all that stress level. And every day after that, Dr. Steve kept coming over and working with him. And you know, within that first week of being home, he just totally changed, you know, he was a completely different kid. When you're in the hospital, a lot of life-saving techniques and things were used. They were able to save his life and give him the ability to be able to start to move forward now we're, you know, we're dealing with the task of retraining his body and, and improving the function. Suffice to say, you've had a, a lot of teammates on this battle, huh? Yeah, a lot of yeah. teammates. Between doctors, nurses, therapists, and everybody, we're pretty excited of where he's at. And now we're about to enter another phase where we're starting to see a little bit more control in his legs, where he's actually able to flex and raise his legs on his own. You know, a, a far cry from paralyzed for the rest of your life. And, and now at least there's hope because every day we see it just a little bit more. Every time we come, we always see um, a difference in him the next day. He's just always so much more joyful, more playful, he's more alert. Without Dr. Steve, I don't think we'd be this far today. I mean, me and my family, we, we said no, we're not giving up on him. And he knows that he has his family and all of his friends and everybody, all the supporters behind him. And that's what's been making him get through all of this. And that's why he's such a strong baby with all the love that he has behind him.